Hey guys, it's James Anaya at Emerald City Guitars for another pick of the day. I have a interesting one here. I posted a photo of it on our Instagram and people are super stoked to see this. A lot of people are kind of getting into this. Uh, there's a lot of people out there building them and a lot of shops out there trying to tackle these builds. And I'm talking about a Les Paul standard burst conversion. And I have a really cool one here. This has got to be one of the best I've seen. This one came in a couple days ago. You wouldn't know this, but this guitar started out as a 1954 Les Paul Jr. And my buddy Brent brought it in a couple days ago and Brent is an engineer and he's a meticulous man, I have to say so. Now, Brent spent tons of time, thought, hours, money, all went into this guitar to make it as close to a 1960 Les Paul standard as possible. Now, like I said before, I've played a couple of these conversions in the past, and like I said before, this thing is about as close as it's gotten for me. Nice, slim 60s profile. Uh, in a second, I'll get through the details. I wanna talk about who actually did all the work on this. There's a guy named Dan Shin uh, out of Ohio at a shop called Lay's Guitars, and they're kind of the standard for the burst conversions. Now the shop has been around since 1962. Dan Shin has, uh, has kind of taken it over, and they're just known for their quality restoration work. Uh, they've done stuff for Joe Walsh. They're also known for doing the neck shave for Jimmy Page's Les Paul Standard uh, number one. So that's kind of their claim to fame. All of the different parts that went into this guitar, obviously, as I said before, originally was a 1954 Les Paul Jr. So you got your original mahogany neck and body and just an absolutely gorgeous repurposed maple top. The aging and the checking on the top and back and up the neck here, it's just, it's so classic. It's really hard to tell the difference. It's just gorgeous. We got original PAFs. That sound incredible, as you can imagine. We have Repro uh, PAF covers. Um, error correct saddle, error correct bridge. All the plastic is vintage Repro. We got 1960 knobs, 1959 wiring harness, and switch, which were not easy to come by, I know that. The guitar also has 1959 Grovers. Now Dan did all the fretboard work on this Brazilian fingerboard and the inlays look great. They're super professional. It's, it's hard to tell a difference between this and a real one. They look so great. Bone nut and was recently plucked by Mike Lowell here in Washington. So this thing is just like ready to play. One thing I'd like for you to note as well behind the headstock, it still kept the original serial number from the 54 Les Paul Jr. So that's cool. As I said before, just by looking at this guitar from the parts to the finish to the way it feels, it was all done so meticulously and so specifically, uh, it was all very thought out. But also hearing this thing through an amp like this one here is really, a, it's a real treat and it's, it's pretty special to play something like this. So This Les Paul also comes with a form fitted, real fancy gator case that's brand new. It's got the keys and everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shut up and see if I can do this really cool guitar some justice. Uh, I'm gonna run it through a 1954 Fender Deluxe with a 5D3 circuit. This is one of my favorite of uh, the Deluxe circuits. It's got a little bit more uh, headroom, a little bit more breathing space for especially some PAF. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it.
There you have it guys, a 1954 Gibson Les Paul Jr. conversion to a 1960 Burst, ran through a 1954 Fender Tweed Deluxe. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching.